day's ends, our promise is as sure as the sun. A sunny, warm welcome, a fresh, satisfying start, a shiny, sparkling moment. More rewards to brighten your day. At day's ends, it's not just about the change we put in your pocket, it's about the change we make in your journey. Why don't you keep on the sunny side of the What's up guys, my name is Jake, and welcome to this abandoned Days Inn Motel in Birmingham, Alabama. Just by chance today, we came across this almost completely untouched abandoned motel which closed in 2015. For almost half a decade, the property sat abandoned with surprisingly little scrapping and vandalism. As we explore more of the property, I'll pop in to provide some more information. But first, let's take a look inside the lobby. This building has been found to be a dangerous building by the building inspection officer. This notice is to remain on this building until it is repaired, vacated, or demolished in accordance with the notice. This uh, hotel even had ballrooms, convention center. Ugh. There's a Ramada in too, apparently. <clears throat> oh, it was a Ramada. Holy. <laughs> Do you believe this? Wow. This is crazy. This hasn't been touched at all. No. Not even by vandals. No. Yeah. I don't even see scrapping. Look at this crazy painting of like a Victorian era. It, cl that was somewhere around here. it closed in 2015. This closed in 2015? This has been in this condition since 2015. <laughs> Church Directory. Huh. Oh my God. Yeah. The roof is just absolutely gone. Is this one of those old Martin things? Yeah, this is the hallway back to the kitchen. Yeah, the roof is completely gone though. Yeah. I mean, it, there's no saving that. No. Jeez. What? Look at all the, the crystals from the chandeliers here.
I'm surprised there's no one living in here. I can't believe it. Yeah, I mean, the doors are wide open. Ugh. No, thank you. No. Oh, that's the general manager's office. Probably. Yeah, look. look. Oh, there you go. General manager. That's like out of the 70s. Ev everything's still here. audition office. <laughs> it's where Linda Lovelace started her career. Oh my god. Man. This is a big uh, check-in area desk too. Yeah, it is. For this type of hotel. Well, back in the day, it was probably you know like a like it's probably a popular place. Yeah. There's got to be at least, what, 150, 150, yeah, 150 rooms here. Wow. I mean, they had a convention center, a pool, a pool. Want to play? It's a lounge. I sure do. The shark lounge. Coat check. Oh yeah, look at this. Yeah. That's so cool. Huh. Yeah, this is real old school. While I don't have exact dates of when this hotel opened, Whoa. I'd estimate the hotel began as a days in around the 1970s to early 80s. It was built in the once booming area, but the property then started to have some trouble at the turn of the millennium. The local downtown and surrounding neighborhoods began to change dramatically, and the area around it became very rough. Days Inn eventually sold their hotel to America's Best Value Inn by mid-2011. By this time, even the pool wasn't being maintained, as the new owners began to let the motel slip further and further into decay. At 150 total rooms, it seemed as though the motel was split up into two sections with separate brands operating them. But even with the ultra-low-cost business model, the motel was struggling, seemingly deserted every day. This was probably fun. The goddamn music back on. Yeah. Dance. Dan, let's buy it and reopen it. <laughs> wait, wait, I, I'm inspired all the time. <laughs> Here's the pool. Oh, it's locked. Huh. I guess there's no pool today. Pool's closed. Huh. 
Now we took a drive on the other side and this whole building has fire damage, pretty severe fire damage. This place is insane. Oh, and like the, the wallpaper is peeling away. A lot of these rooms are the same. Some of the beer in them. Whoa. Damn, look at this window. That's crazy. That's so weird. What the hell? Look! Oh my god! <laughs> Holy! Oh, I don't shit. think I, I don't think I've ever seen a an intact room this bad. Oh my god! <laughs> the. <laughs> That is unbelievable. Holy shit, look at that. By 2013, the motel was once again sold to Knight's Inn, which partially leased one of the buildings to the Studio Inn. Though in 2015, the property saw very few guests in relation to the amount of rooms they had, and the now trashy motel had little use for their convention centers and nightclub. The pool and parking lot was unmaintained, and as property taxes with little guest revenue hit the owners, in late 2015, the motel closed permanently and was left abandoned. I assume by the little foot traffic on the road it's situated on, and the rough area along the security, the motel was actually left alone by scrappers and vandals, which left the interiors slowly decay. However, after the owners began slacking on security, the West Lodging Building was set on fire. This happened once again in mid-2019, when the North Building was set ablaze at around 2am. The city quickly came in and condemned the entire structure, which means there is likely no saving this motel. Oh my god. So both buildings have fire damage. Holy crap. Is laundry. Oh yeah, look at that dry clean, dry uh, cleaning machine back there. Huh. Yeah, this is old, old stuff here. Wow. Why are all these rooms burned? Probably because you know people were staying here after it had shut down. Look how the ceiling is bowing in. <clears throat> oh, shit. Yeah. That's why it's condemned. I'm not going upstairs. No. Th now, this was set fire to afterwards because look how the beds are yeah. are stacked up. Could have been someone using drugs or... Yeah, maybe. Just anything. Smoking, even. And then this room's fine.
So both structures have been burnt. Look at the plaster coming down. Looks like someone made a slide. Huh. <laughs> it looks like, like a tobogganing slide or something. Interesting. Towards the end of our visit here, just as I was going to walk back to my car and change my battery, a white van pulled up on my car and I quickly ran into the foliage. I don't think they saw me at this point, but we later found out that it was a lock and security sort of company, probably hired by the owners to board up the motel and lock up some of the doors. I saw like a rental van drive up to my car. Where did they go? The former Days Inn currently has no future plans for redevelopment, and will likely sit there abandoned until the city forces demolition. My name is Jake, and thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs> Where are they? They are to your right. Walking safe. <laughs> okay, time to go.